It's the end of Masturbation May, baby, baby. Good late, Shan. It's over. May is over. It's done. And I'm partnering with Layla to tell you how masturbation has become a very important part of my life, specifically masturbation with toys. Because the truth is, I know as a sex educator and somebody who is a fan and enthusiast of this space, how impactful pleasure can be for my body. But I'm also so tired, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. This is not how masturbation videos should start. I'm exhausted. <laughs> My body is tired, my body is tired, I'm tired. I don't think of these tears as a bad thing, I think of them as a positive thing, um, cause it's hard right now. But I'm proud of myself for pushing myself through the heart and I'm proud of myself for seeking out ways to still create balance when I feel I feel so out of balance all the time. Um, I'm just experiencing a level of like fatigue, just I think it's recovering from COVID and plus the third pregnancy and looking after a baby and running a business and I'm really like my bones are tired, my organs are tired, my spirit is tired, but I am also still seeking a pleasure focused life. <laughs> This is depressing. Self-care and self-pleasure is hugely important to me, probably now more than ever. And I'm gonna be honest with you, my definition of self-care can be a little bit different than it used to be. It might have been really intentional things before, and now it's things that I used to take for granted, like orgasm and masturbation, like sitting down and enjoying a meal, like actually savoring the time, watching a TV show, sitting in silence for a second, like not being on my phone, not doing anything, just like sitting with myself. Things that I used to look at maybe as boredom time or things I would do to pass the time are now things that I really have to be intentional and mindful about inviting into my life and scheduling into my life because it's just a really full time. And I think a lot of my tears are also, I'm afraid right now, guys, like I am afraid that this level of fatigue, like when I think about having a second baby in a couple months and I'm so tired right now, I'm afraid that I won't be able to manage it. I'm afraid like I'll have to let go of more things that I really care about and I've already had to let go of a lot, right? But I also wanna appease that fear by telling myself that a major part of the fatigue I'm experiencing now is a result of the pregnancy. And once the pregnancy is over, with my last pregnancy at least, I did experience a huge uptick in energy. I required less sleep. I just required less rest and I was back to my more vibrant self. But I mean, the unknown is a little bit scary. So that's where these tears are coming from. But that is why enlisting the help of tools has meant everything to me during this time because I need help and um, I need for things to be a little bit more easier, but still as joyful at the exact same time. So I wanna talk about the various ways that masturbation has really, again, like I said, become such a huge part of my self-care and why, given the fact that I only have a limited time to do it, have I really been intentional about expanding the way that I do through various body parts and also how I've been extending that to my partner. You know, how can I use sex toys and tools or encouraging them to masturbate um, to also ensure that I have intimate harmony and balance in my life and that they're also getting the benefits of orgasm, which I hope I've talked about at nausea many times. If I haven't, here's a recap. God wanted us to masturbate. Uh, I can see it in your face. We be on the same page. I've been waiting all day. Uh, breaking a bag, breaking a bed. Had that kill for that. Sick as wet. Pull out a stack. So when it comes to orgasming, my go-to, something that can get me there in minutes if I really don't have a lot of time and I just know that I wanna help my body sleep, which orgasm often helps me do, or help my body relax or de-stress, 
all things I greatly require now, but I have limited time. I'm going to go for clitoral stimulation and I'm going to go for a clitoral toy. So I love, I love suction toys. They really do well for me. They work almost too quickly, but again, sometimes that really works in my favor. Some toys I greatly recommend for clitoral stimulation that are from Lalo are the Enigma Cruise and the Sila. The Sila definitely seals the deal for me. So do that with that information what you will. Butt play, butt play masturbation is new for me in pregnancy too because I've literally become a tight ass. There, I've said it. And I just feel like engaging that area not only provides pleasure, but it provides a lot of deep relaxation for my body, which can tend to get very tense. So this is something new. I still do it along with clitoral stimulation. I don't orgasm from butt alone, but if I have extra time and some lube laying around, I definitely add a little stuff into the booty, um, get some vibrations going, or even just the feeling of fullness, I just found has just been really pleasurable for me. Very big fan of the Hugo. You can use it with a partner. It's got different options in terms of what your comfort level is, and it has a flared base, so you can put it in yourself and not think about it. If you have a partner, or if you just make sure that you're really safe about using it, I also love the Loki Wave. Nipples. This is actually something that's new for me postpartum and now into pregnancy too. I really enjoy, I have very, very, very sensitive nipples. I always have. If I didn't, they would have been pierced by now and you would have seen it a long time ago, but it would be way too painful. Um, that to be said, I find that for me, what works really well is my nipples are extremely painful to touch 90% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, 95% of the time. But when I get really aroused and I'm in that cycle of, you know, when you think about the wave of orgasm, when I'm almost reaching the place where my body is ready for that release, engaging my nipples can be incredible. There's actually a neurological reason as to why nipples can be really pleasurable to touch. Within the sensory cortex, the section of the cerebral cortex responsible for receiving and interpreting sensory information from different parts of the body, genitals and nipples are physically beside each other. Fun fact, another neighbor of the genitals is the feet, which might explain why so many people have a foot fetish. But hey, that's a different type of fetish for a different type of video for a different kind of day. And so yes, I find that during sessions where again, I have more bandwidth to invite more pleasure, doing clitoral stimulation, and then last minute inviting on a sex toy that also does suction at the exact same time before I get to climax is just like, full body, waves of joy, and that's been a huge go-to for me. The tricky thing when it comes to toys and the nipples is my favorite clitoral toy is also my favorite nipple toy, which is the Sila. So I can't you know, do both at the same time to get me there, so I usually end up using a different toy on the clitoris while I use the Sila, which I really like because it's gentle suctions for my nipples. Um, so yeah, it's gotta be dual action, or I'll do fingers on the clitoris and then Sila on the nipples. You know, I play. So can you. Penetration play. Those of you who have followed me for a long time or those listening to my podcast know episode one was about the fact that I do not and have never been able to orgasm for penetration alone. It's a big part of my sexual story. Um, but further to that, the story keeps evolving. I have found that after pregnancy, and now into second pregnancy, I have been able to receive so much more pleasure and stimulation from vaginal penetration and so much more excitement from the various spots. So for example, after having a baby, I was able to achieve a spot stimulation, which used to be painful for me, but now became like deeply pleasurable. And those of you who don't know, a spot stimulation. The A spot is short for the anterior fornix. Now anterior means to the front of. So the A spot is on the frontal wall of the vagina. Fornix means archway. So the A spot is inside of an archway that surrounds the cervix. Note I said surrounds the cervix, not is the cervix itself. Also, the A spot is not the G spot. It's actually about an inch or two deeper, which is why it has earned itself the nickname of being the deep spot. Also, after pregnancy was the first time that I was able to experience squirting and the reverse of the A spot, which is sometimes called the O spot, 
um, which more so deals with the anal area, but we'll talk about that in a different case. But what I really want to emphasize is that for me, having a toy to do penetration plus clear at the exact same time is not new for me. I've been doing that for a, probably my first successful sex toy was a G-Spot toy. Um, but now I find that one, I enjoy vibration more, and two, I also like deep penetration, um, not just shallow for the G. So finding a toy that can do both, or to be honest with you, one that can do each spot really successfully has definitely upped my self-pleasure game. For A spot, I love the Mona Wave because it is pointed and specific and because I don't experience pleasure from cervical stimulation, I wanna make sure that I'm not using something broad. However, for the G spot area, I really love the GG2 because of that flat, big head. Sometimes for me, masturbation or self-pleasure does not include orgasm, it just includes stimulation of erogenous zones or zones that just feel good for me. So I really love the Smart Wand 2 for various areas on my body that could require some extra loving. Doesn't always go there, but it takes me places and I really appreciate that. Lastly, I wanna talk about how extending masturbation toys and also grace to my sexual partner, which is Jared Brady at this time, has been crucial for me because as I mentioned, I love pleasure, but I have found that the act of sex is really hard for me. Because my body is tired and it's difficult for me to move my body right now or feel energized to move my body, sometimes usual partnered play can get really exhausting or mentally daunting for me, even though I want the end goal of us having a moment together or I want the end goal of orgasm and release for myself or for my partner, the way that I have to go about doing it sometimes can discourage me, which is why including toys for Jared has also been really, really important. I have spent a lot of time giving oral sex during this period of my life because I get to stay in one spot and rest my forehead up against something usually and take breaks. So to do that, I'm utilizing toys to make sure I'm making it different each time. So vibration on the gooch or on the balls has been really, really fun to play with. It's also been fun to provide Jared with a toy that he can utilize himself that I think that he really enjoys. So that is also how masturbation has been a huge part of my wellness. Um, and my relationship is definitely a part of my wellness. That's it. I hope this was a short-ish video, but I really just wanted to emphasize how much companies like Lalo, which provide so many dynamic and incredible products to bring pleasure to all bodies, has really benefited me during a time when my body really needs pleasure, but pleasure can sometimes feel inaccessible to me because of my body's limitations. And so I wish you all a very happy masturbation day and happy is the word. I am definitely holding on to that. I know that the tears at the beginning were kind of a throw off, but um, it's an authentic expression of where I'm at right now. And again, like I said, um, inviting pleasure into my life knowing that I think has been really, really helpful. So if you are in a similar space um, and you have the capacity to invite more pleasure or you need some things to make it easier for you to get there and there and there or over there, I highly suggest that you check out Lalo. And best of all, people who are watching this video, you can get 25% off site-wide on Lalo.com, including all the products that I just mentioned. So go down to the info box, click that link, look around, see what's good for you or someone who's good to you and have a blast. Bye.